Hi everyone, it's the Ticket to Christ. Thank you for tuning back in. We are looking at the importance of growing in patience. I think um, impatience um, is just at the root of a lot of trouble that people end up in. We talked yesterday about road rage and um, things like that. People hanging up the phone on one another and they're Christians at that. Um, just not having the patience and, you know, uh, to hear one another out and uh, just seeing that the first, one of the first principles of love is patience, right? Love is patient. Um, but today we're looking at, at an example of someone who didn't have the patience to wait, to wait on the Lord and to follow his instructions. And that's Saul, King Saul from the Old Testament. We're in 1 Samuel 13. We're picking up from verse 8. And the context is... Um, the Philistines had come against them. They were like a lot of, a multitude of, of, of people who came against them. And, and the Israelites were uh, trembling in fear. You know, um, if you read earlier the account, you'll see how that happened, how that came about. And so there were people like, it says, on the, like, uh, the, like sand on the seashore in multitude. So you can picture that and then, uh, the Israelites, uh, then they had a smaller number. And so Samuel, who was the prophet at the time, um, or the judge at the time, or both, um, told Saul to wait, wait for him at this particular time, but he did not show up at that time. And so that's where we're picking it up. And he tarried seven days, that's Saul, according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, bring hither a burnt offering to me and peace offerings. And he made the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came and Saul went out to meet him that he might salute him. And Samuel said, what hast thou done? And Saul said, because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Michmash, Michmash. Therefore said I, the Philistines will come down now upon me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of God, the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought a man after his own heart. And the Lord has commanded him to be captive over his people. Because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. Okay, we can pause there. Um what is jumping out at you from this? What are you seeing? What are you hearing? Um, for me, from this, I see that um, Paul, I mean Saul, um, he did not, I, I just don't see someone who is walking with God, who's, whose heart is knitted to God, to God's ways, because in the height of the emotion, in the height of fear, he was quick to disobey God's um, commandments, God's instructions, right? Because God's instructions were that only the priests who belonged to the Levite, the tribe of Levite, could offer these types of sacrifices, could do this. So he was usurping um, the authority, right? He he acted out of his, outside of his authority as king and was usurping the priestly role. You know, and a lot of times that's what can happen when we're afraid, then we become impatient. We don't wait for the Lord and we act outside of the role or outside of the parameters of what God tells us to do. And it cost him, you know, it cost him the kingdom. It cost his entire lineage, the kingdom, and it was given to David, right? Verse 14, the Lord had sought him a man after his own heart right? And uh, rejected Saul as king. And it started with this rash behavior, right? Because Samuel didn't come at the time that he had said he would come. 
He said, "I'm wait seven days for me. I'm going to come. But he didn't show up at that exact moment. And Saul started to panic because people started to leave him. Um, and so it just shows that at the root, at the heart of impatience, you got to get right down to your relationship with God. What is it you believe? And um, a lot of times with impatience, we see it, it shows up in smaller things, smaller matters. Like I said earlier, people hanging up the phone on one another or just, um, you know, being, you know, responding maybe harshly out of impatience. And, and usually it's coming from fear. Um, but a lot of times that also trickles down into the bigger decisions that we can make. Because these small little drips that can happen of impatience um, show up when, when, when the stakes are even higher. Right? And we see that for Saul. And so um, I think that a lot of times people don't understand the importance of being patient. Being patient in affliction. The Bible talks about it. I believe it's Romans 12. 12 the apostle paul this time in um in the new testament it be, said be joyful in hope patient in affliction faithful in prayer of course under the inspiration of the holy spirit he's writing this so we're to be patient in what in affliction during times of trial and, and struggle which is what paul saul here sorry king saul found himself in a time of affliction where he needed to wait patiently for the for the uh, prophet of the Lord Samuel to come um, and tell him what to do. And I'm sure that um, Samuel lingered because I bet you that um, I would not be surprised if it ha he lingered so that the Lord could see what was in Saul's heart. It could be exposed to everyone, right? That a lot of times, sometimes that's how it happens. It gives us, God brings to light what's really in our heart. What are we, what are we really about? You know, are we going to be faithful to him? Are we going to be loyal to him um, uh, through challenge and difficulty? It's very easy to say we love God. We're going to be loyal to say it and to think it in our minds. But when the situation actually shows up and it's a hard situation, um, that you need an, a quick answer, but the answer isn't coming quickly or things aren't changing fast. It is very easy to take things into your own hands, to step beyond the boundaries of what God has asked uh, for us to do or to um, maybe take things too far, whereas they would not have gone that far if you just had waited. Sometimes situations become this big thing, bigger than they should have been, um, if a person just waited, you know, just um, been patient, waited the situation through, prayed about it, and, and wait for clarity from the Lord. A lot of times uh, the bigness of the situation can be um, bigger than we think because we're it's puffed up in our heads with the voices of the enemy saying, of pointing out, uh, heightening our fears, right? Uh, when you surrender it to the Lord, you bring it to the Father, you pray, God is able to intervene, to make it clear, to fill you with peace and to bring clarity as to what needs to happen and when. Um, so those are my insights uh, from this example. And I hope it's giving you a lot of food for thought or helping you in some way. Have a great day. Bye-bye.